When budgeting, it is impossible to be certain as to exactly what a particular figure or a value might be. It may, however, be possible to identify a number of possible outcomes, x, and their associated probabilities, p. An expected value is a weighted average of all possible outcomes. It calculates the average return that will be made if a decision is repeated over and again. The expected value is calculated by multiplying the value of each possible outcome, x, by the probability of that outcome arising, p. These results are then added together. So, the formula for the expected value is the summation of x by p. Let's consider an example. A company is considering launching a new product. The expected state of the local economy has been categorized as either strong, average or weak. Based on this, the company has identified three possible profit projections for the next year and the related probabilities. There is a 40% chance of a strong economy, a 35% chance of an average economy and a 25% chance of a weak economy. This would result in respective profits for the next year of 220,000, 120,000 and 40,000. The requirement is to use expected values to calculate the expected profit of the new product. Using the expected value approach, we apply the probabilities, which are given to us in the question, to the related profits, so as to calculate the expected value or expected profit of the company's new product. So, given a strong economy, the estimated profit of 220,000, x, is multiplied by the 40% probability p of that profit arising. This yields a result of 88,000 being x multiplied by p. In an average economy there's a 35% chance p of an estimated profit of 120,000 x. x multiplied by p equals 42,000. Also given a weak economy the estimated profit of 40,000 x has a 25% chance, p, of arising, meaning x multiplied by p equals 10,000. The expected value is the sum of x multiplied by p, meaning we add 88,000, 42,000 and 10,000 to generate an expected value of 140,000. Advantages of expected value might include Expected value takes uncertainty into consideration, as the probability of each possible outcome is considered and then used to calculate an expected value. The expected value calculation is relatively straightforward. And the actual expected value is a single number, meaning decision making is facilitated. There are also disadvantages associated with the expected value decision making technique. It assumes the decision will have to be made again and again. The expected value approach to decision making calculates the long term weighted average value. Expected values should not therefore be applied to one off decisions. The expected value may not equal any of the possible outcomes. In the above example, the expected value of 140,000 did not equal any of the possible outcomes of 220,000. 120,000 or 40,000. The probabilities applied to the expected value calculation can be subjective. Consideration should always be given to their origin or to the accuracy of their calculation. They should be calculated based on future expectations as opposed to past results. Expected value can be seen to ignore the risk as the range of possible profit outcomes is not considered. In the above scenario, for example, the possible profit could be as high as 220,000, yet as low as 40,000.